I just thought it was different. And uh, needless to say, it was the opportunity, and I'll use the word again, Jared, the opportunity to work with these two younger than me, <laughs> great, great actors, and uh, and and uh, to, to to interpret uh, John's script. I mean, I did definitely love the idea of Jim beginning to emulate Deke and the psychology that uh, that would take me down as an actor and, and this character, you know, starting out with this really altruistic perspective and having that type of conviction be turned into obsession, I think was something psychologically that was really complicated. Like Denzel said, uh, John Lee's script was aces from the beginning. One of those scripts that you just fly right through the Denzel of it all is uh, a no-brainer, and in comes Jared. And I know uh, there's going to be some explosive energy on there with in there with all of us. So, yeah, couldn't pass that up. I guess when I think about Albert Sparma, I, I think of him as kind of a charmer. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's I I I. I um, you know, I guess I wasn't on the receiving end of whatever might seem scary or terrifying, but I, I, I never really felt that. I thought he was kind of a lovable guy, I guess. But uh, uh, John Lee Hancock, um, amazing director. You know, we had met about a year before because I, I think I chased him down after I saw The Founder, which I thought was just a spectacular movie. Michael Keaton was just phenomenal. The, the direction and it was just shot so incredibly. And uh, I really wanted to to work with him, um, but yeah, John Lee was was you know um, the first line of defense. It's a character that uh, you know has a uh, many many nuances piled on top of each other, and 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 John Lee was my uh, you know my uh, my my guide through the the process. He's just a fantastic uh, actor's director to work with. Our next question is from Federico from Italy, from Il Fato, who says, uh, for Denzel, what makes Joe uh, different from other cops that you've portrayed in your career? Uh, 35 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really model um, or think about other, uh, certainly I didn't think about other performances um, and I didn't specifically research uh, specific like killers um, because uh, you know that's there's there's a lot of ambiguity there. I, I did a lot of um, kind of just observing and watching uh, whether it was documentaries or looking at FBI transcripts or you know kind of uh, uh, you know my fair share of, of reading. Um, mm. As Albert was a crime buff. Uh, but um, I really spent more time with thinking about him as a person, you know, like what, 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 you know, I was really curious about um, Albert Sparma and uh, uh, you know, what made him ticked and why he didn't fit in, why he couldn't connect with people and you know, why, 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 and why again? Uh, and as Mr. Washington says, that's, that's where you ask questions and you get more questions and sometimes you find some answers and that's, that's the game. And uh, you know the thing about Albert Sparma is he has a strange way of reacting sometimes to what he hears. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I just found him so funny uh, I, that you know the way he saw the world or interacted with people. He just really it's it's a lot of um, it's in some ways he was very free, and that's mm. that's kind of attractive to to be in those shoes. Uh, he could never really say the wrong thing. Personally, if I, I, I see wisdom and great instincts and experience in front of me, well, I'll lean on that. And so uh, I think that was inherent in the script. Uh, for someone who is struggling to, uh, in, in a case with, you know, so, um, so much building up, so much responsibility to have, uh, the ability to lean on someone who had clearly been there before and seen something quite dark uh, almost there was almost a, a need 
to bring that person into your life and seek counsel from them. So you knew, in a sense, I think Baxter knew, in a sense, it could get him uh, down a harmful road, but there was something advantageous to working with this man that could help him solve this very uh, difficult puzzle. These guys uh, here uh, on the Zoom today were, were really the reason that I wanted to be a part of it. Um, like I said before, John Lee Hancock wrote a great script. I guess when you, when you, um, you, you look for a great director, a great script, a great part, a great producer, a great actors, um, and you know, this just ticked off all the boxes and it was really, it made it impossible to say no to. There was a moment where I did think like I've kind of walked on the darker side of the universe a lot in my career. Maybe it's time to not do that again. But, you know, after, you know, just, just seeing the opportunity here, I, I just couldn't say no. We did quite a bit. I mean, different color eyes, I had a different nose. We had some other prosthetics, different teeth. And of course there was like a walk and a talk and, um, but, uh, you know, John Lee Hancock was, was right there to be the kind of first line of defense. I think at one point I had, I tried on about, we were looking for the very worst wig in all of Hollywood. <laughs> and, uh, and unfortunately we didn't find it, uh, because I would have worn it. But if I could right now do a slideshow and show you what pharma might've been, you guys would die because I have these two wigs. One, I looked like Annie from the musical. Uh, and, and, you know, I think we even might have tried some freckles, I'm not sure, but, uh, and then we had another kind of like, I just thought that maybe he was losing his hair and he chose a wig he thought was really like handsome, but <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have the wigs though, and you will see them, you will see them in another performance. Rami and, uh, Mr. Washington, both have Denzel, been, Denzel. Been, been, been great in, in inspiration for me because when they when they work there it's head to toe i mean if you watch denzel in his his movies his whole body is alive mm. and you know that's always the 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 holy grail that's that's not an easy thing to do you know a lot of times it's hard to just get away from the lines if you look at rami and what he did so for me, like, you know, being a physical actor is really, you know, uh, I'm interested in that. You don't imagine the character the first time you read the script. You have to find the character to, 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 to you're introduced to him when you, or her, when you read the script. But uh, you, you, that just, that, that's just, that's day one of, of, the, of, the, of the work. I think where obsession starts to overtake so many other aspects of your life, I, it's, a, it's a good thing to be reminded of. Uh, yeah. I think uh, you know, this year probably has, has taught us a lot about that as well. Uh, we get so focused on certain things and you know, so narrow-minded in a certain tunnel vision about what has to be achieved in life and what we have to do. And uh, we, we kind of perhaps start to neglect the most important things. And uh, perhaps Jim gave me a little bit of that. Hey guys, lovely to see you. Um, gonna get started here. Uh, just asking you how you can talk about a little bit about working together with each other, specifically uh, Denzel and Rami. You know, Jared was almost unrecognizable in this role, a true transformation. Uh, can you tell us what it was like working with Jared? Uh, you know, I keep reiterating it, but, you know, Jared uh, was so invested in that character. And uh, what I loved about his, his portrayal of Albert Sparman was just the unpredictability of it all. Uh, you know, take after take, he was consistently bringing something new, which is uh, I mean, the greatest thing you can ask for when you're working with someone. Great. Rami, I'm going to stay with you and then we're going to bounce to Jared, but can you both tell us what it was like working with, you know, Denzel and the scenes, you know, together um, when you were in scenes working together? Uh, again, it's that thing that you just hope for. And uh, of course, you know, you're getting the, uh, 
the absolute best of is that presence, that uh, moment to moment just being right there with you. So you just don't, you don't feel like you're acting. You feel like you're totally in, invested in what's happening at that moment. Uh, and, and when you, when you look at Denzel in the scene, there's just this sense of, all right, everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Jared, how about you? What was it like working with uh, Denzel and Rami? Well, uh, th th thanks um, to both of you guys. Uh, uh, it was a dream. Um, I mean, you know, just an absolute dream. These two have... Uh, done incredible work and you know Denzel Washington for me is uh you know for me he's Brando he's he's uh well, watch it now watch it <laughs> he's Beethoven you know he's uh he's uh that's it you know what I mean I know he's on he's right next to us but it is it's you know you can't deny like he's he's one of the greatest of the greatest of all time and you know the, the the consistency in his work and the power in his work over you know uh, a long period of time um, has really informed and inspired me as an actor. And uh, you know, to hearing his voice for the first time on set that was pretty thrilling because he just has that you know uh, unmistakable voice, that powerful voice, and. Um, so I was just, you know, in awe, basically. Uh, but and, and Rami, just a perfect partner, you know. Um, you know, I thought what, what he did in Bohemian, I was glad the rest of the world agreed with with me as well. But what he did in Bohemian was just, you know, breathtaking. So when you're thinking about showing up to work with these two guys, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty incredible. It's 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 intimidating, but also motivates you and. Uh, it's, it's really um, quite an amazing thing. That's great to hear. It seems like all three of you had an amazing time. I'm gonna shift it over now if we wanna start with Denzel. Uh, can you uh, share a little bit about what it was like working with John Lee Hancock uh, as director and, and what it was like working with him on set? First of all, a, a, just a good, good man, really good human being, someone that you wanna do well for, that you wanna please. Obviously a great talent, great writer, great director, great collaborator, but just a decent human being. I, I mean that. Uh, Jared, Rami, you have anything to add before I wrap up here? Um, yeah, I mean, I will reiterate everything Denzel said. Uh, you know, you In this business, I think we've discovered there are a lot of people that life's too short to go to work with. Uh, John Lee Hancock is the polar opposite. <laughs> wow. Great. Well, glad to hear that. Uh, the Little Things was amazing. It was a pleasure speaking to all three of you today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you.